Do you think boys are just naturally better at maths? I didn't write this. <laughs> New research out of France has found that children start school with roughly the same mathematical abilities, but after just four months, a gender gap has emerged in favour of the boys. So what's going on here? Jodie Hunter is with the Institute of Education at Massey University, used to be a primary school teacher. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to have you here. So they go in, the, the boys and girls go in with the same level, and then after four months the boys pull ahead. What, what do we think's behind it? Yeah, the authors of the study do make a point of uh, saying that this is nothing to do with innate ability. Instead, it's to do with what happens in the classroom. As in, boys respond better to in-classroom teaching? Not necessarily. So, I mean, across our society, we have something that's been picked up called brilliance bias, which is basically this idea that there's some subjects at school that you have to be brilliant at to succeed in. And mathematics and science are, are two of those subjects. Um, and then this brilliance bias is often associated with males. So you think potentially what you were saying is that the teachers are educating the boys on maths more because they have a bias that says the boys will be better at it or understand it better? Not just teachers, society in general. So, I mean, parents can cultivate that as well because, you know, and this is what they report in the study as well, is that because there might be a tendency for us to think that males are going to be better at maths, then we notice when they're doing things which are positive in maths and kind of exemplify that. And for the girls in the study, they found that there was a tendency for the girls to be stronger in the language you know, language is reading and writing. Ah. And so then as parents, you might notice that your children are doing really well at it, so then you support it and encourage them to do it more. Controversial take, but what if they just are better at doing different things? I haven't found any studies to say that that's definitively the fact. And I think in New Zealand it's quite interesting because we haven't got data to say that we have a gender gap in New Zealand, but what we do have, which is a little bit similar, is that... Ministry of Education has undertaken studies which show most children start similar at the same levels. But what happens in our country is that Māori and Pacific children start falling behind other ethnicities overall. Right, and that's to do with what's happening in the classroom? It's to do with what's happening in the classroom. I mean, I think you can look at other factors like socioeconomic factors as well. When, when we say that it, they, boys and girls, in this case in France, come to school with the same level of understanding of maths, does, it, does that mean that they all know nothing? <laughs> no, children come to school knowing a lot, a lot of mathematics. You know, you can't come to school knowing nothing. So it's a lot of informal activities that you're doing. You know, things like fractions when you're sharing things, division, you know. You share things out as parents and ask children to share things between them. Doing puzzles, um, all of those kinds of things, building blocks, They're geometry. Good. Mm. So what happens after, so this is after four months, there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a gap, there's a disparity. What happens by the time you leave school? You know, does that gap close? Does it actually just naturally correct itself again? No, what they found in that particular study was that the gap got larger and larger as the children progressed through school. And I mean, I think in our context, we could say that we may not be finding a gap, a gender gap in terms of um, school assessments. We don't do large scale tests like we used in the study in primary school. But what we do, what we can say is that there's definitely a gender gap in terms of who is choosing to go into mathematics at higher education in terms of university study. Okay. 